mapping out our expedition for tomorrow for our yeah. fourth grade students. We are one of the literally the hottest spots as you can see here. We have already found like bison steps, plants that can grow like super comfortably in these hot temperatures, different material communities. So we're already know exactly where we're gonna be taking the kids and uh, we absolutely just gonna wait. We wish you guys were here with us, so next time. That's why. Yeah, it must be very, very strong temperatures, high elevated temperatures coming with so much strength from below that we have all the steam, you know, you know, like constantly flowing in our faces right now. All of those most likely represent a unique microbial community that has developed to have the ability to survive here. Hi guys, we have a bunch of bison and baby bison right here. I don't know if you can spot the baby ones. We're just checking in. We spent the day at a lot of hot pots. Yep. Took Rosa to Old Faithful. <laughs> She's never seen Old Faithful erupt. We'll send you some videos of that because that was just mind blowing. I mean, I'm just amazed of like the, the diversity that uh, of life, not just at the micro, but at the macro level. So we're, we've been spotting different areas where we can uh, incorporate all the things we've been teaching the kids, whether it's, you know, animals, botany, but also the microorganisms, the geology of this of the area, and etc. We're so excited. Yep, we can't, can't believe wait. we're doing this. Still pinching ourselves. We're here at Firehole Campground, and tomorrow we're going to spend a good majority of our day here. We have a professor from BYU-Idaho coming and looking at macroorganisms with the students. Rosa, tell them what you'll be doing here. I will be with the kids scouting the area for large microbial communities. So how do they look like under the water? What do you look for? The same for the trees around us. What does that mean to the ecology of the area, to the animals living here, to the plants that are here as well? And my husband and I will be talking about uh, the types of animals, identifying the animals that have been in this area. Uh, we have indicators from scat, feathers, footprints, even uh, marks on the trees as well. Yeah, tree, yeah, yeah tree rubbings. So that will be fun. Bring it all together as to what this all means in that like uh, ecology when we study from all these different perspectives and how can that help us understand these at a whole other level. And our wonderful teacher Trisha Gaylor will be doing artistic component where the students will be replicating some of the things they have seen and the patterns and the colors and how they interpret the area right through their eyes in an artistic way. So we're so excited. We can't wait to do this and thank you so much for everything for the gear as well. So we'll be sending you a lot of videos and pictures and the kids reactions as well. And yeah, we just we're very grateful. Thank Thank you for elevating us as professionals and validating connecting us. Yeah, <laughs> connecting so, yeah. us right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you.